Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi brothers and sisters, welcome back to a brand new video In today's video, I want to talk about why I believe in Islam Why I believe it's the real religion And why I believe in all the revelations in the Quran And why I believe that all those, all the revelations Is sent down by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And first of all um, To understand why I believe in Islam You guys will have to understand what kind of person I am I'm someone who believes in facts I'm someone who believes in evidence I think this will give you guys a better picture as to why I believe in Islam. The first type of people is people who believe in facts and evidence, and this is me, right? So example, I'll give you guys some example. If someone were to buy a laptop, if you are going to buy a laptop, right? Or if you are selling a laptop, that's a better example. If you are selling a laptop and you meet a customer, right? There's only these few types of customer you will meet. One is they want to know the facts and evidence. If you tell them this computer is fast, right? They don't believe you. They want to see you um, do a demonstration, right? They want to see you run some games on the laptop or the computer. They want to see the speed test, etc., right? And this is the type of people that believe in facts and evidence. They want to see the proof. And if you can prove it to them, then they will believe in it. And the second type of people is people who believe in their emotions, right? If this feels right for them, they will believe it, right? So there's some, some people are like that, right? When they listen to the Quran recitation, for example, they will feel a certain way, right? They will feel at peace. And this is the emotion that will make them believe in Islam, right? So there's so many, many different ways that you know, people believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is all the wonderful ways that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us. He created us in this kind of way, right? And He knows what kind of things will make what kind of people believe in Him and His revelation and the religion of Islam. So, there's another type of people that's emotion and the third type of people is people who believe in other people right people who believe in other people what do i mean by that um an example would be again if i were to buy a laptop right or if you are selling a laptop right they don't believe how good the speed is they don't believe how fast everything is right they will believe if other people are buying right so they know that oh they have 10 friends who's using their laptop and recommending this laptop to them. They then will buy their laptop because people are recommending it to them. They believe in people. So the more people that, you know, that they get exposed to who have their laptop, right? They see, wow, that guy is using an Apple. Wow, that guy also using an Apple. Okay, okay. I think Apple is good. I should buy a laptop, an Apple laptop, right? That's this type of people. And this type of people are the people person. Right, they trust other people, right? And in Islam, um, there's also stories where you hear about um, people. I, I think like Dawood Kim, right? I think he said, um, if you guys don't know who Dawood Kim is, I think you guys will know he's uh, a Korean Muslim. Um, he he converted or reverted to Islam, maybe nine ten months ago, if I'm not wrong. But the point is, if you listen to his story, he was exposed to people, right? He went to Indonesia, you know, for his tour, like his music um, stuff. And he went there and he met or met many, many nice people who are Muslims in Indonesia, right? And this is when he was exposed to Islam, right? And this is why he wanted to learn about Islam. It's because he was exposed to people who are really, really nice people and they are Muslims. Right, so this is the type of people that's the people person, right? And the last type of people is those who want to see, I would say, the benefits of a certain thing. If they see benefit in it, they will believe in it. And a an example I can give you is, if someone were to buy a laptop, right? They don't care how good it is. Okay, maybe to a certain point, but the most important thing to them is how this laptop will benefit them. Right, so if this laptop can do certain things that they, they know will benefit them, an example, if the laptop, you know, can be folded, um, you know, some laptops can, can fold open like that, but some laptops can open all the way back and turn it into a tablet. 
right? If this is something that will benefit them, they will want it. And in Islam, these are the type of people that, you know, that they will look at benefits, right? The benefits of the practices of a Muslim, right? So, like example, the five-time daily prayers, how it benefits the people or how it benefits the humankind, right? Someone will see the benefit, wow, you know, it improves blood flow to your brain, right? When you prostrate on the ground, when you put your head on the ground, right? It improves blood, f blood flow to your brain. And when you also prostrate to the ground, you know, the deepest part of your lungs get to clear out the air, right? Because normally our diaphragm or something along, I'm not really sure, but I read somewhere that like along the way, like your diaphragm don't usually, you know, push out all the air. There's always residue and remaining air left in your lungs. So when you perform your five time daily prayers, right, when you prostrate, when you bend down, you know, the diaphragm pushes out the remaining air and you take in a fresh new air. So it's like clearing your lungs five times a day, right? And the benefits of voodoo, right? The benefits of keeping yourself clean, washing yourself five times a day. There's so many benefits in all the practices like zakat and everything. It, and these are the type of people that when they see the benefits in all these things, they will believe that this is the true religion because of all the benefits, right? So there's many, many type of ways that people believe in Islam. And I personally, by the way, there's also a mix and I think I'm also a mix, right? I believe in facts and evidences. Um, I think I didn't elaborate too much on the facts and evidences. Facts and evidences as in people who want to see proof as to why the Quran is the revelation from God, right? And an example I sometimes give is, you know, the expanding universe, right? There's no way in the past 1,400 years ago, people with the technology that they have at that time, they can know that the universe is expanding, right? And that is mentioned in the Quran. The universe is always expanding. And only recently when technology comes to light, then um, people get to know that the universe is expanding, right? right? With the telescopes, with the, um, like all, all the things that people send to space, right? With all these things, people get to know the, that the universe is always expanding. Right, and this couldn't be known so many, so many years ago, right? And this is the evidence for a person like me to want facts and evidence to believe in the religion, right? This is what I need, and I got what I need from the Quran. This is why I believe in Islam. And for many of the people out there, right? Um, again, there's many different ways that people are being brought to Islam because of the wonderful ways Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created his human beings, right? He has created us, right? And he knows best how to guide us. So this is just what I believe. I just believe that, you know, there's a certain group of people that believe in certain things, right? So if you are a new Muslim or if you are a born Muslim and you want to find and strengthen your belief, I think it's important to understand what kind of person you are, right? What kind of things you believe in. Because, example, if I'm a facts and evidence guy, okay, and no matter what you tell me, you tell me this person, you, you're, you're trying to prove it to me in the people way, like this person is Muslim, this person is Muslim, there's the benefits and all that. There will still be doubts in me because I'm a facts and evidence guy. So if I don't get the facts and evidence, then it's very hard for me to believe in something. And so I think this is a great tip for anyone and everyone who wants to strengthen their belief. I think it's very important to understand what kind of people you are. And if you understand, example, if you're a facts and evidence person, then always read up on the facts and evidence provided in the Quran and in the hadith, right? And if you are a people person, mix yourself around more with other Muslims. Um, and if maybe if I'm a, a benefit person, right? I will do a lot more research, talk to a lot more people and talk to like um, 
like online YouTube, right? Like there's a lot of information and there I can find out the benefits of, of the practice of a Muslim, right? There's so many things that's beautiful about the religion of Islam. So, yeah, so these are the few ways that um, I think people believe in the religion or anything of that matter, right? How people believe in anything, right? Like a laptop, right? I'll give an example of a laptop, right? Even anything can be applied using um, this few type of uh, categorization but I think there's a lot more but I think you get my point this is just the few type of categories that um, I can remember from the top of my head I think there's more subcategories and categories but um, yeah I think you guys get my point so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you guys uh, learned something in this video um, I will try and make more videos like this where I'm talking but I'm not that good at keeping up a long conversation um, because I feel that there's so many things going on and running through my head but I process things very slowly so but I guess doing more videos like this will help me improve right so anyways um, that's the end of this video I hope that all of you have a nice day um, if you guys have any thoughts or any questions leave it down below in the comment section below I will see all of you in my next video, inshallah. I hope that all of you have a nice day. Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.